Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing another flashlight review and uh, this is the Convoy M21F, this comes with the CUL PM1.TG, you know you guys see me getting this emitter quite often, I love this emitter, it's, I think it's the best balance of high lumen and high uh, candela output, so this one comes in 5700K. I've actually used this flashlight for just over a week now, but I, I've put it back in the box to just show you what you get and uh, in the mail so that you know what to expect. Okay, the box pretty much looks quite basic. There's no writing besides the, the specifications. I like this minimalistic design, and if they can save a bit of a few dollars on the packaging and put that back into the flashlight, I'm going to be much more happier with that at the end of the day. And, you know, you do get a bit of bubble wrap as well, just insulating the flashlight. But that's it. You get the light. Um, the lanyard, I think, was disconnected from the light. I just put it uh, back on. And mine actually came with a battery. You can buy a 21700 cell uh, from the Convoy store, or you can just uh, use one at home. It accepts any 21700 cell. Though longer ones, you might have an issue with it just being a little bit uh, tighten that tube. Okay, so probably, you know, flat top flat top cells like this one are going to be better. So this one's like the Litto Color 21700 cell. You're not going to need a very high drain cell as well because this light only pulls six amps. And when I first was researching different convoy lights, I sort of stumbled upon this one all the way in the, the back pages of their, their online shop. And I don't think too many people have this one. Everyone gets the M21B or, you know, the S21 or the S2 Plus. And uh, finally, we've got a convoy light with the USB port. So it's got onboard charging. There's not too many convoy lights out there with that USB port. Okay, it's got that same basic sort of rubber gasket design. But it's really, you know, it's really good to see that Convoy are incorporating this feature. It just makes it so much more convenient to carry around in trips. And, you know, it's a little bit, you know, a few bit, few millimeters longer than the M21B, you know, a little bit wider. It's got a five millimeter wider bezel, okay? But otherwise, you know, it's roughly the same size, okay? You can still fit this one in your pocket. And I really like the design of the M21F because as you can see, it's just a more of a premium feel to it. I don't know how exactly to describe it, but the machining, you know, it's just a bit more refined. You've got this nice little checkered knurling here on the head. You've got this stainless steel bezel, and there's no sharp edges on the bezel as well. It's machined very nicely so that it's smooth around the edges. You know, this nice little accent here, this anodized blue uh, ring around the button. You know, the button's even got a light in the center as well to let you know when it's charging and when it's finished charging, red and blue. And, you know, these nice little cutouts here on the side there, no nicks, nothing like that. You know, still fairly conservative, still very, you know, conservative looking, okay? But I just like how it's done, you know, increasing that surface area for the head. Okay, the knurling here is, uh, you know, quite a basic knurling. Just completely sort of straight lines. The tail cap as well. Um, it's got a slightly different design from the M21B. So I think this one, aesthetically, I think it actually looks better. I got mine in grey, but it does, pretty sure it comes in a few other colours as well. But, you know, I'm just getting a bit bored of the same black anodization that you get on a lot of flashlights. Overall, it just looks more modern than other models, like especially the M21B. They're great hosts and they do their job, but it's good to see Convoy come up with some newer designs. You know, the anodization on this light is very impressive as well. It's a smooth anodization. It's, you know, it's a touch slippery, so it's definitely got a, a little sheen to it, but it's not, it's kind of somewhere in the middle of matte and shiny okay and you know the knurling on it certainly helps as well to keep it grippy i often find because i keep all my flashlights in 
a bag and they sort of knock around at times. The edges here, any of these sharp edges, they tend to get scratches and bits of anodization sort of wearing off those parts first. And uh, definitely with the M21F, you don't get too many of those sharp edges on here. They're all milled very smoothly. Okay, so there's going to be less friction. The cutouts might be a little bit much for some of you, but definitely think they're necessary given how much heat that this flashlight produces. It helps increase that surface area to dissipate heat. I think they look good. The, the button sits flush on the surface of the light, and I find it also quite firm. You, you know with some other lights, you know, it doesn't take much to activate that in your pocket, but you really have to give it a firm press to turn on that light. It's got some kind of, uh, you know, little grippy material on top of it as well. So I really like this button. It's not too mushy. It's not too hard. It's just firm. And, you know, the button is sitting flush on the, on the flashlight, but it is recessed if you compare it to the head. So if you've got that light sitting in your pocket, you know, it's probably not going to be touching anything anyway because the, the head of the flashlight is going to be making contact with whatever's in your pocket. Like I said, it runs off a 21700 cell. Convoy don't include a charging cable with this flashlight. So you're going to have to uh, find one at home to use. It's just a normal USB-C uh, cable. Very, very common. I think they cost like a, a couple of dollars if you're going to get one anyway. But everyone pretty much has one of those if you've got a uh, if you've got a phone using a, a, a modern phone, you're going to have one. USB port cover is watertight and also sits flush, okay, on the flashlight, little little lip there, slightly exposed, and the switch glows red when you're charging it. My one comes, as you can see, with the CUL PM1 .TG emitter produces between 1,500 and 2,000 lumens, depending on the bin of the LED and uh, sort of got this black gasket sitting around the LED, as you can see with a lot of convoy lights, and it keeps it perfectly centered and makes the beam actually look a lot lot nicer. I think it probably eliminates some of the, the ringiness that you see on some of those older convoy models after they uh, before they actually change the, the gasket. So, yeah, perfectly centered, smooth reflector with uh, no dust or spots anything like that on the inside when I got it. And that's to maximize the overall range of this emitter. I mean, this emitter is designed for long distance purposes, long distance throw. So, you know, you definitely want uh, you, a decent sized reflector in there to maximize its potential. So let me just go through some of the modes. Now, the UI is a little bit different on the M21F compared to your usual convoy flashlights. It actually reminds me a bit of the L8's UI, okay? But uh, cool thing is that it's got a moonlight mode. You can click and hold, and you've got nice little, nice little moonlight mode, okay? But basically, uh, you turn the flashlight on. I've actually already got it on the turbo mode, uh, highest mode. But uh, you click, oops, click, and you hold the flashlight and it ramps down to the lowest mode, okay? It's not moonlight mode, it's just a low mode. Um, click and hold again, and it ramps up. The one thing I've noticed is that it ramps up very quickly, but it ramps down definitely a lot slower, okay? And it has memory mode as well, so it will remember that last one. Um, the light activates pretty much immediately after you press the button, which is good. I know some models, other models, um, other brands, uh, do take a little while to, you know, noticeable time gap between when you press it and actually have the light activate. You can access turbo from off by double clicking that button, which is great. You can also access strobe three clicks, okay, in order to strobe. There's also a really cool feature on here, tactical mode, so four clicks, so one, two, three, four, okay, activates this, where when you hold down that button, it activates that uh, turbo mode. Now in the tactical mode, there is a slight delay. You can barely tell, but there is a slight delay from when you press the button to when the light actually activates. And tactical mode will just go to 100% when you hold. And de to deactivate, just press that four times. Okay, another function, you can actually test the voltage, so check the voltage. So one, two, three, four, five, five clicks, and then it will just blink out the voltage. So that's four point, uh, basically four volts. Yeah, 
4 volts okay and um, you can actually also change between ramping and step mode so as you can see you know before where we sort of went up and uh, press and held go up and down um, light has to be off press click basically click six times one two three four five six okay and there we go we've got it on that stepped uh, ramping mode as well on there okay probably the other thing i should mention is that uh, there's lockout mode okay and i think that's good with the sort of side uh, switch flashlights it's good that they have some sort of feature for that so you've got to click that button 10 times okay and it will just pretty much lock the uh the flashlight so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and back to normal again or you can of course just mechanically unlock it by unscrewing uh unscrewing the tail cap okay all right so let's get to the juicy stuff the performance so up here on the screen you can see a ceiling bounce test that i ran and absolutely impressive as you can see you know it's holding that 100 percent mode all the way i mean with some ups and downs slight fluctuations up until the two and a half minute mark will it starts uh starts ramping down and, and gets to about 70 percent of the overall output okay and i think 70 percent is pretty high that's why the light is still quite hot to hold even after it ramps down to that 70 percent mark i measured the candela rating of the light as well with my oppo light master pro and I got 157,275 candela at five meters, which is 793 meters of throw. So compared to the M21B, I think it's another 60 or so meters of throw. Not significant, but it makes sense given the slightly larger reflector on this model. You'll be able to see the beam shots later in this video, but you've got an intense hotspot with this smooth reflector, um, intense sort of hotspot in the center with a circular spill. You can definitely use this as a walking light, but you need to put it on the lower modes as the candela is too high to be using at short range. Definitely pocketable, as I said before, but only just the head diamond is 40 millimeters. Okay, so putting it in your jeans pocket, you're definitely gonna feel that. It's not gonna be super comfortable, but at the end of the day, I would still classify this as a pocketable light. And if you're sort of tossing up between the M21B and this one here, you know, if you want that extra throw and some of the functionality of this flashlight, you know, the side switch with the tactical mode and all the other different functions and the design, you know, you're still going to be able to pocket this as well. But if you want something that's a little bit more slim in the pocket, you know, the M21B is pretty good, but really both of them feel quite similar in the pocket. Some considerations, this thing gets pretty hot in 100% mode you know like I mentioned it does step down to 70% but uh, I find that it would probably be better if it stepped down to something like 30 or 40% for me I just reduced the mode to one step lower so if I have the light on uh, for a long time it's going to be fine it's not going to get too hot but uh, definitely on the higher modes it's really like an advantage and disadvantage so you, you can sustain those lumens for long long periods of time but uh you know at some point you're not gonna be able to hold it but it's good that there are the different ramping modes in there so you can change it around um, if it gets too hot another thing is that there's no tail switch some people do prefer having that tail switch operation but the good thing is that there is a tactical button here if you activate that tactical mode okay you're gonna have to be in that mode but it is you know it's definitely an option Overall, the M21F is a great step for Convoy. It combines some modern and advanced features not present on other Convoy models while still maintaining a low price point. This one is about $30, 30 US dollars. I mean, isn't that amazing? You get a few different emitters in there as well. I think you get the SFT40 if you want some extra light and a larger hotspot. This light is definitely more suited to mid and long range purposes. But like I said, you can ramp it down, use it for anything close range as well, but you're not gonna get that nice diffused spill and uh, large hotspot that you get on those orange peel reflector flashlights. I think this light will be good for those of you who might be looking at something like the M21B, like I mentioned before, but uh, you know, want some extra features and you know, just the extra attention to detail with the design. I've left the, the link in the description. It's a non-affiliate link to Simon's uh, Convoy 
shop on AliExpress. Okay, that's the place that you can get them for pretty much the cheapest price that I can find them online. And if I've missed anything out in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you. Uh, would like you to leave a comment there. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you click the like button. It really helps me get these videos out to more people. And if you want to see me make more flashlight reviews, make sure you subscribe. Convoy M21F on turbo. All right, the M21F on turbo. Very nice sort of overall spill and a good hot spot in the center as well. It's illuminating all those trees at the back right at the end very easily. Um, I, it might be touching, yeah, it is sort of touching that building a little at the back, but it's difficult to really, yeah, like the top of it, it's difficult to really tell on camera. Okay. Go for a little stroll. M21F 